И занятий в школе, и я поняла, что эгрегоры любят выравнивать своих адептов. Based on what I've learned in our school, I understood that egregors like to equalize their adepts. So a question came up. Is it possible that the healthcare system with its physical exams and checkups is such an equalizing method? I formed this opinion based on a situation that happened to an acquaintance of mine who was forced to search for cancer in herself. The doctor saw something suspicious in her medical imaging during a screening. They ran a battery of tests looking for a tumor, but found nothing in the end. However, she lost a lot of energy during these tests, that she could have gotten sick for real. It is not much an equalizing, but rather a process that reduces a person down to the level of a cell, followed by a painless and impunitive destruction of the cell. These are experiments. You have to understand that the system conducts human experiments. First, they were influencing the current of money, removing one's freedom to use it. And then they started affecting the current of health. Now, it is precisely the current of health. If you take away a person's right to use these two currents, health and money, which are his by right, it is something that belongs to the person himself, something that he can get on his own, because all all other currents belong to either egregors or gods, but these two are his by a sacred right. Every person can obtain health and monetary resources for himself. By impacting these two points, a person can be made completely dependent. And that is what actually happened. First, they got total control over the banking system and monetary currents. For this, they implemented the banking control processes, the know your client principle, anti-money laundering laws and other rubbish of similar kind. People ate and swallowed this and then said, of course, we understand the terrorism threat, and of course, we can surely move aside our personal freedom. To which the system responded, excellent, since you're so understanding, you'll give up the rest of the rights you have left. And so a system to control human health has been introduced. This is how people gave up the right to be in control of their health to the Gregorian system in the way you just described. In this case, they gave the rights to the professional medical system, or more precisely, to medical bureaucrats. Every medic will tell you that he would be happy to help, but he has a protocol to follow. Furthermore, under this protocol, he does not have any wiggle room. Otherwise, he will lose his license, salary, practice, and so on. Eventually, everyone got so used to it that a doctor who neglects the protocol is practically seen as a heretic, a medical heretic. And these medical specialists, as there is no way we can call them doctors any longer, receive pretty good pay for all these experiments, which certainly helps atrophy their sense of conscience and medical duty. Money seems to override it quite well. But somebody who trusts these systems essentially gives up the right to manage his health. He gives away this right completely willingly. He had given up the right to manage his wealth, now he is giving up the right to control his health. The same applies to the current vaccination procedures, which we observe happening with great intensity all around. It is a question of faith. Do you believe that the system has the right to this? That it does not belong to you anymore? Prove it thrice and agree to it thrice and it's done. Therefore, think about this. We have been talking about this for many years. We talked a lot about inner freedom and rules. Moreover, we spoke about ritual actions you could mistakenly take and thereby accidentally give away your rights. This is the same trap our ancestors got caught in, thinking that it wasn't a big deal. That is how we repeatedly got trapped. All of that tightened the noose around the neck more and more. Perhaps it will take losing the last shred of freedom, like when we don't have control over our own health. 
when there is no other option to obtain health but through the medical protocol, when we cannot obtain a resource via contact with nature in all of her might, when nature gives you all without asking permission from the system like, may I have this, may I, I don't know, raise my own chicken on this earth, and whatever else they forbid. Maybe when all of this will reach its peak, then probably this will be the moment man will rip off the noose. But if he says, all right, all right, just don't hurt me, if you feed me three times a day, I'll be fine with it, well then man is not worthy of the freedom he has. He is simply not worthy of this freedom. He just doesn't need it, so he shouldn't have it. Because it is an insult to the gods and to freedom when they give this right to the unworthy, who will trade it to wear a serf's collar and eat his cho three times a day. It's dinner time in jail, instant ramen. So freedom is of no use to someone who doesn't know what to do with it. Once he will know it, then perhaps he will get another chance. Think about what you do, what you say, who you trust. Research everything by yourself. Do not take a word on faith alone if you have even the least suspicion that you are being tricked. Better say no than yes. Because this yes may turn out to be that key, fatal third yes against which you won't be able to do anything about. Therefore, colleagues, I wish for you to keep your right to freedom. If you keep it now, during this trial period of the serf's loyalty to the master, you will cease being a serf. But if you lose your right to freedom, you will have to start from scratch. Although this has happened many times before. Let this be the last time. Это было уже много раз. Позже этот раз будет последний.